terrific. Oh no, we can't put that yeah, in the vlog. Hello and a very warm welcome to my first vlog here on my channel. Today we are at Mirabilandia in Italy. I'm here with my family. Uh, yeah, I think there's about eight creds to tick off today, so I'm very excited. I uh, don't really know too much about the park apart from the main two rides, which are Katun, the BM Invert, and I Speed, which is the Intamin Blitz coaster, which I'll hopefully head straight to. Uh, so, yeah, I'll see you when I'm in there. I'm very excited, looking forward to something that is Nemesis on a large scale. Nemesis Alton Towers, Nemesis, the decent one. Now, I know a lot of people can relate to this. If you're anything like my family, you will spend half your theme park day at the turnstiles faffing about. Drives me crazy. Thank you. It's like the island that there is no other. It is. Where's Saw? Oh, looks like the gulags over there. <laughs> We're dropping on prison, boys. It kind of reminds me of the entrance to Islands of Adventure, but slightly less magical. Right, kicking us off this morning, we have Ice Speed. Oh, that's good timing, I think it's just launched. This is an Intamin Blitz coaster with an LSM launch, I believe. Um, first bit, it's pretty much like stealth, and then the second half, bang, airtime hill, and then it's like a baby maverick at Cedar Point. Oh my God, the speed on that looks insane. I think it's got two inversions. I'm very, very, very excited for this. This ride is seven meters smaller than Stealth, so it's kind of a baby version of Stealth. It's got two inversions, it's got airtime hills, it keeps going, it doesn't just slam straight into the brakes after that massive top hat. It keeps going, it has a sick layout. I'm just going on now for a ride and I'll let you know what we think of it when we come up. Okay, so I've just come off high speed for not one, not two, but three rides. One on the back seat, one in the middle seat, and once at the front. That bit's sick. When I first came off it, I thought that was really enjoyable. That was a really fun, cool launch. It felt like a big kick, even though it was an LSM. But I was like, it didn't really have any wow factor. I was disappointed. And then I went on it again. Again, it's good, but it's nothing special. And then I went on it on the front row. And I can't even begin to tell you guys how much better the whole experience was. It has everything I like about a roller coaster in it. You've got height, you've got speed, you've got intense elements, you've got inversions and airtime. What a ride. Just make sure you're wearing a t-shirt because I wasn't allowed on because I'm not wearing a t-shirt. Tell the full story. Stupid man. I've got a naked back, therefore aren't allowed to ride the roller coaster. So you sat on the train, pulled your lap bar down and they said, Excuse me, you're not wearing a t-shirt, so you can't come on. But I'd already ridden it once by then. I'm just having my playtime. <laughs> ah. <laughs> not feeling it today, lads and lasses. Not feeling it. The cutest log flume in the world. That is adorable. Okay, so we just come off auto splash. It's basically a log flume, but you're in like a vehicle. Weird. Uh, I got soaked. I was at the front seat. My family phone dry, so I'm annoyed. Okay, right about now we are entering the 
BTEC Ferrari World, we've got Ducati Land. And kind of the only reason we're in here is because of this weird Ridge Rider looking, RMC single rail looking, I don't even know what it is. Now, if you check out Jack's second channel, you'll see Ridge Rider is one of the creds that we've been getting over the past couple of weeks. This is just a big Ridge Rider. Anyway, Desmo Race, which is these weird single rail looking things uh, with two seats on, it's like a motorbike. Uh, it's shut at the moment, but fingers crossed later on in the day, we'll be able to have a little go on it. Right, so we've just come off Master Tai. Uh, it's technically a dueling coaster, family roller coaster, uh, but you do both sides. So it's, that element's pretty cool. The first drop is fun. Nice little pop of air time, but apart from that, the whole of the rest of the ride is a shambles. That was rough as hell. I could have made that ride in DT. It was poorly, poorly made. Right, so myself and my dad, Bruce, are about to ride Catun which is the park's B&M invert coaster. This has been pretty much very hyped up. Are you excited? Um, I'm very much looking forward to it. I mean, I don't know the terminology, I'm just excited. Fair enough, he's not really an enthusiast, but you can appreciate a good roller coaster, AKA. A foot dangling nemesis type. Yeah, but not the, uh, not the uh, Inferno type, the original type. No, no, a decent nemesis. The one at Alton Towers, not, yeah, exactly. not the... Uh, that's all. I don't even feed him this, he just knows what's good. Also, I did a bit of research. Catun means 20th turn in the Mayan calendar. And this ride was actually built and it first opened in 2000. So technically, we're riding this in the 20th year of its operation. Lovely. I mean, that's... <laughs> no, think about it. This is the year to ride Catun. Oh, yes. Come on. This, this is looking like a scene from my favourite video game, Tomb Raider 1. Don't worry boys, Call of Duty is my second favourite. I kind of figured that that was going to be good but I didn't quite know how good that was going to be. Holy shit! That absolutely shits on any other invert I've been on. I've never experienced floater on an invert. Okay, Nemesis Alton Towers, one of my favourite rides. That's just gone top three. That, it was about 18 miles long. It was about a mile high. It's amazing. He loved it. He came off and was speechless and not many rides do that. That was fantastic. So, three rides down now on Catun. It was very, very scary. Did you like it? Yeah, sick. So sick. Thought I was going to shit myself. There we go. That's the comprehensive review from Abigail Stephen. Okay, we're now heading into the far west valley. Let's hope it's not as long to walk through as the Port Aventura Wild West area. All right, boom, quick food stop in the local area. Man's gone for melon, parma ham, pasta, italiana. What are you saying? Loving it. He's loving it. What are you saying? I'm saying there's not a curly fry in sight. Oh, no. Um, but uh, other than that, it's a great spread. Fantastic. What are you saying? One up the two. So I've quickly stopped outside of Dead Town, which is this park's yearly run scare maze. And it is an upcharge of about five euros. Unfortunately, because of COVID, it is completely not running this year, which is a huge shame. Uh, it looks like a sprung tent up there, very similar to Horror in Texas at Port Aventura. Uh, but yeah, just got it. I've heard it had some good animatronics in there and around 10 actors that would be in there scaring you for a quite a lengthy amount of time. 
So yeah, as a big horror fan, it is a shame to see that standing but not operating. I'm really, really hopeful this year that Merlin will pull through and give us a great scare event, hopefully at Alton Towers and at Thorpe Park. In whatever form that takes, I'm here for it and I hope that we can get a good scare season still. Fingers crossed. Let me know in the comments what you think is going to happen this Halloween. <laughs> Unfortunate bit of theming there, very unfortunate. On to our next cred. I think it's called Gold Mine. Okay, apologies for my lack of knowledge there. It's actually called Gold Digger. It was really rough, but uh, it's all right. It's, it's kind of basically a clone of, I think it's Cobra at Chessington. That is one awesome entrance to an attraction. Welcome to Jurassic Park. Drop, drop, drop out of the window. window. Moving like Debo with his back home. My brother's getting calls on the track for me. Coming for the hole that I put it on my backbone. Drop, jump out of the window. Moving like Debo with his back home. He's currently just stopped at the top of the track. Now I don't know enough about this ride to tell you that that's not normal but it doesn't look like it's supposed to do that. It's been testing all day on and off and then we come over here again to check it out and it's just well it looks like it's stalled but obviously it's powered so it's just stopped midway through its layout. I just don't I think we're gonna get spited by it really I don't think we're gonna get on it which is a shame because it's a very unique cred I'd go as far as to say it's a it's a rare cred Oh, I don't think I'm gonna get it today though. So I'm sure I don't speak for myself when I say this Ducati area is empty and it's not quite as good as Ferrari World, is it? No, not at all. Ducati World, great seeming, fantastic. Spending an awful lot of money on the bike. Nothing works. It just is a bit rubbish over here. It's a pretty dead area of the park. It is a shame because it, I think it has has a lot of potential. Anyway, next up for us, we've got Hot Wheels. It's a stunt show. I've heard very, very, very amazing stuff about this. So let's see if we can get some footage of this and then I'll let you know my thoughts when we come off. Are you excited? Very excited for this. Apparently there's lorries coming to Sean. Big up Sean for the intel. So, my opinions on the stunt show. It was great, but I was waiting the entire show for the grand finale. I'd watched a video a couple of years back on that show, and I'd seen the finale, and I was, ex I was super excited for it. And they didn't do it. They did not do the big staple thing, for which for me, I was most excited to see. Uh, so it did let me down. I'll tell you what, if you are a motorhead like Regan, <laughs> and if you're happy to give 40 minutes of your day to a stunt show, you would absolutely love it. But uh, for me, it missed that big wow factor moment and it did not have it. Anyway, we're now heading on to Die Vertical. You go up a lift in a log flume and it's actually a water coaster, so it counts as a cred. I'm really excited for this, as much as it looks terrible from the outside. I think it's going to be great fun, can't wait. What are your thoughts on Hot Wheels? Um, those cars should not be in those kind of positions. This lift hill is very clever. It's kind of like Cobra's Curse. As this side goes up, the other comes down to collect the next train, water, trough, log, flue. <laughs> So we just came off Die Vertical. I'm absolutely soaked. But that was a very weird experience. Because you had to wear masks, but you didn't have to wear t-shirts, did you? Horrific. I mean, fun, but horrific. So this is an Intamin water roller coaster. So the first drop you don't really get too wet, and then you carry on like a roller coaster layout. And then the, the last drop, you get saturated. Yeah, yeah. Come on, 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 come
Ciao. What a cheeky rascal. Looks like we've got a mini depth charge here. I bet it doesn't have the same operations though. We have just finished our ride on... Let's go. <laughs> we just did a ride on the family coaster, La Proto Express. Abby wants to leave. I don't want to leave, it's just hot. Abby wants to... <laughs> so my family have just left to go back to the hotel, uh, but I've stayed for a couple more hours and I've just been on the oil towers. Uh, luckily I got the shock tower. I'm not a fan of drop towers, so I'm very glad I got the side which shoots you up. Uh, great fun. I think I'm about to head on to Buffalo Bills Rodeo. This whole area, this Wild West area, feels like something straight out of Roller Coaster Tycoon 3, if you know what I'm talking about. So after being completely ram ranched by Buffalo Bill, I've headed out of the Wild West section. And as you can probably tell from behind me, I'm heading back on my favorite coaster here, Catun. I'll let you know how it is when I get off. So I have just had two amazing rides on Catton. Uh, it's very special. It's height, it's speed, it's layout, and the fact that you can actually get floater on this thing make it a great roller coaster. And um, yeah, it's pretty much the opposite of a catfish roller coaster. It looks great from the outside, and it's even better to actually ride it. So yeah, I wasn't expecting that to be so good. I think it's definitely secured as my favorite ride here at the park. Uh, I speed front row is fantastic but that's just so re-rideable that I think it has to take the number one spot for this park, 100%. Probably gonna be in my top 10. Great ride. Looks like there's a diving show over there. Now that height's got nothing on the Lost Boys in the Blue Lagoon. And I bet that water doesn't have seals in it. So after three exhilarating rides on ice speed to end my day here at Mirabilandia, I've got to say <laughs> that has warmed up a very very huge amount which now changes everything in my head and uh, yeah that last front row ride that i had on uh, i speed was by far the best ride i've had today so uh i speed when it's when it's warmed up takes the top spot that's incredible they're both fantastic rides but that just that was that was the wow factor i'm very indecisive but i mean it when i say that ride is incredible and i'm super glad that i got the uh, chance to experience that three times well, now it's just absolutely soaring around that track. At the moment, I don't know where I'm going. Oh, yes, I do. Oh, I've just found it. I've found Mackie D's. And I'm in search for one thing, ladies and gentlemen, one thing, the Muck Extreme. I don't know if they do it, but if they do, I will cry with joy. Bang. That's the worst unboxing ever. Oh my God, it looks beautiful. Mm. Mm. It's not the Muck Extreme, but it's the closest I'm gonna get. And I'll settle for it. Right, I am back now at the entrance of the park. Just wanna say a huge thank you if you guys have joined me all the way to about now and my experience of Mirabilandia. I had a wonderful day with the family, getting on all the fantastic roller coasters they have to offer here. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you guys have enjoyed this vlog here at Mirabilandia. I'm the Arch Nemesis. Ciao for now.